Oh, finally. It's morning again at Fort Farmer something. I don't know. I think it's going to be Fort Radio. Fort Radio Tower Salvation Whiskey 6 Buttermilk. All right, everybody. We're back here, and I've got a bunch of server messages from when I came in and came out of the server. All righty. So last time, if you remember, we spawned in. Got probably the luckiest spawn in the game right next to a military base. And we got ourselves quite a bit of loot to get started with. So today, we're going to get started on the base. Now, I have not really built a whole lot before other than just basic crafting module, m m m modules before and that kind of junk. But other than that, I am pretty much a greenhorn, a noob, if you will, when it comes to building this kind of stuff. All I know is, when I was doing my looting in the town, I really lucked out. Because I found a pickaxe, which you need to get rocks for a campfire, as well as scrap metal bolts and all that great stuff. But I also found a fire axe, which is what you need to cut down trees. And with wood, as you might imagine, you can build some pretty cool stuff. Now, unlike Daisy Epoch or any other really popular base building games, there aren't really any cinder block things quite yet. There are some metal things, but that's really just for, um, what is it called, a lockbox, a safe box, or something like that. I was taking a basic look at the wiki, and I really don't know a whole lot. Now, before I pick up these logs, you may have seen that 3 XP here. I'll chop down another tree, just so we can take it real quick. Take a look. This super chop takes out 10 of my energy. But if you look at the very top of the screen, once I chop down this tree, you'll notice how I get some experience. I get two experience. It varies for trees. I don't know if it really depends on the size of the tree. But if you go into your inventory by pressing tab, you'll notice at the bottom how you have your apparel. That's what you're wearing. You've got your crafting, and you've got your skills. Now, skills are very important part of this game they help you live longer they help you more sneaky they help you run longer that kind of stuff but in my case for building the first skill you want is craftsman and this the first one you need for crafting chests which is what we're going to do today so i'm also going to do a couple of survival because it will stop my my hunger and my dying overall because i am quite thirsty right now and i'm yet to go back into town to do a uh, looting run anyways from trees that you chop down, you get logs as well as sticks. Now, logs and sticks are essential in the tree of crafting stuff. Look at those rays casting over the barn. That is a wonderful look. Anyways, with crafting, hopefully I get this right, I believe it is logs into boards. Okay, so if we just craft a bunch of these, you hear a lot of mouse spamming. I apologize for that. And if you have boards, you should get plates. All right, so... Let's craft a couple of these, move these boards back. Can I combine these boards? I hope I can, fantastic. And I think these boards or these plates are here. Now, let me just make sure that there, we don't need the next level because I believe we need a frame in order to build a chest. All right, so the other thing you get from building this is sticks. Well, not sticks, the other thing you get from cutting down trees are sticks. Now, I believe when you sometimes get a branch, which is just another byproduct, you can craft those into three sticks. And with these sticks, you are able to craft support. And with these supports, you are able to do a cross. All right. So I believe it's a wooden cross and a wooden frame to build a chest, if I'm not mistaken. I may need more than one for this case. Not entirely sure. As I said, I am a greenhorn with crafting rail right here. So uh, let's see here. I actually did manage to get some pretty <laughs> fantastic loot, trying to summon the words, a 12 times zoom scope, which is apparently the longest zoom scope you can get, as far as I'm aware, actually. So that is something special, and I had no idea that we had stumbled upon that until I found it, or I looked at my inventory afterwards and I thought, wait a second, I actually found that? Nice. So let me just craft another one of these, and when we bring it back in, make another plate wherever it has gone in my inventory. Now, I believe it is this and a support, and you get a chest. Guess not. Oh, boy. I may have to go look this up real quick. I'm going to try one more combination real quick. I just need a stick and some other stuff, because I believe it's a plate and a wooden cross. At least I know it's a cross, but I do not know if it's a plate or if it is just a wooden something else. I believe I already have it. It's either a wooden frame or a wooden plate. Here, I could try out the plate real quick. I know some of you out there who know exactly what you're doing in this game will be quite upset with me right now because I don't know the basic chest recipe. But you know what? I'm going to try it real quick. All right, that was obviously not what I needed. I am imagining 
I really hope that it is a quantity lack, that I just need more crosses or something of that nature. I believe that's the case. May not be, though, so let's just give it a quick shot right here. This is a learning experience for me, as it may be for you. Seems those game, I believe, came out in the beginning of July. So, you know, it's rather new. Pretty cool stuff, if you ask me. I always like new games. And it's a good, refreshing game amidst of me playing a lot of Epoch, which is the crafting, or one of the crafting mods for DayZ at the moment. So, you know, I like some new games coming out and some new little fun things to mess around with during the summer. All right. Still not what I'm looking for. All right. I guess I'm going to have to go look this up. Unless, of course, I need to put a, like, a handsaw on the corner. All right, does not seem to be the case. All right, I'm going to go look this up, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, so it was actually a quantity issue. I need three crosses and two frames, so I guess I was on the right track. Now, I am doing a lot of experimenting with this right here, so I do believe if you put an axe with these, you can get something, or not. I thought I could do something special there. I apologize. I am obviously not too good at this right now. Here, let me pull out my axe real quick. I was honestly just equipping that. All right, there we go. So we're going to chop down this tree real quick, and we're going to get our first chest on the run. I'll probably mass produce a couple of these, or several of these, because I do not currently have the next tier of crafting unlocked, which is essential for crafting the next level up for what we are attempting to do. Now, I do not know if I have enough in this case. I really hope I do. Because we need another support, and I believe we have another support right here. And this should make another cross, and this should be exactly what we need. Alright, a wooden crate. Fantastic, we've got exactly what we need. I'm just going to grab the aftermath here. Guess I am out of room for this, so, hmm. I actually do have quite a bit of armor on right now. Right now I'm wearing some police riding gear, which helps with taking brunt hits, so if a zombie hits you... And I also have the forest armor, which is helpful for gunshots. Now, depending on if you've seen the last episode or not, I may or may not have revealed the server I'm playing on right now with the connection and all. As far as I know right now, the only way you can join is through a Hamachi, which is basically a virtual private network that allows you to do some pretty cool stuff. Is this a crossbow on the floor? Must have killed a zombie and he dropped it. Sneaky little devil. Anyways, let's go put down a chest somewhere around here. I also took the liberty of boarding up my little area right here. Zombies can jump through windows, actually, so this is secure for a little bit until zombie is to break it. All right, so let's put a really special chest right next to the bed right here. There we go, and storage. So I guess we'll put our most important stuff in here. Just put a gun. I don't know if we can stack clips or not. does not appear so. I don't know if I should put a blood bag in there or anything else that's special. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff to carry in this game, so it's kind of tough to really know exactly what you should be carrying and what you shouldn't. Because right now I have quite a bit of ammo, but I don't have the gun that ammo needs. So it's a bit of a dilemma right here. I imagine I will just drop a lot of this stuff right now. Do have some raw bacon. It's pretty special, I'd say. It's always nice having a handful of bacon in your pocket, cooked or uncooked. Although I would not recommend eating uncooked bacon. Not a good idea. Have I done it? No. Do I know what happens? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. That brings back horror stories of summer camp that I will not explain. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like today, since we did a bit of crafting, I'll also put a ladder here. One day I'm going to get up to the top of the barn and I'm going to say something heroic, possibly even inspiring for those beneath me or those who stand with me. One of the two. Anyways, I don't know if I've shown the driving mechanics quite yet. But I don't remember which way I'm heading. I think it's this way. Anyways, it's just normal driving, W, A, S, and D. And as you notice, we've got our speed gauge, and we also have our gas gauge, which is very important, because gas runs out like no other in this game. It runs out so quickly. It's a really good idea to start up at the barns, because they, both of them, the one back there and this one, I believe, have gas tanks. I don't know if this one has a gas tank, actually. Not sure about that. I take that back if I'm incorrect and I am misleading you. Not my fault. I take no responsibility. There actually is a deer right there. Which you are able to kill and get some meat from. It's actually where I got the bacon from. I ran over a pig. <laughs> is it the most conventional hunting method? No. But is it an effective one? Oh, you better bet. Alright, so there are quite a few zombies here. And the best way to get XP, one of the only ways to get XP, is to kill zombies. So, any combat techniques? Not really. Combat is kind of clunky in this game, as you might expect with, you know, the whole Roblox feel about it. I'm actually getting munched on my leg right now. 
really low on health. Probably should not have thrown that health pack away. <laughs> and the little passing lag spikes here and there. Probably asking, you get lag spikes in this game? No, it just happens sometimes. You know, you get a little lag, a little hiccup in your computer. I'm about to axe a Monty. Oh my goodness, what is that called? Canadian Mounty. Mounty, not Monty. Mounty. I just killed a fireman. I am probably going to have to pay for this one day. Oh man, businessman? I don't know. He might be swindling me. I can imagine that, but a construction worker? How can I kill a construction worker? Anyways, I have an absolute ton of experience right now. At least I'd like to believe I do. 46. It's pretty good. Not sure what I'll really... Stronger mining and chopping. That can wait. I guess the best thing to have right now is probably more survival, but I can't afford that right now. I also don't think I... Oh boy, I'm about to die from starvation. Well, not starvation. Dehydration. Alright, buddy. Not the time. I am dying. I'm about to. Oh gosh, there's gotta be stuff in here. I think one of these is a store right here. This is where it even says store on it. Alright, come on, buddy. No any games today. What is this? Look at that. That is some funky combat if I've ever seen it myself. I've had to say so myself. Oh, there's gotta be a drink in here. A can? Oh, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Sledgehammer. Best weapon in the game, but hey. Let's just grab that for now. I don't know if I can get a can and I can go over to like, oh, I'm dying. I'm going to start dying. Oh, I can't. I can't hold it in my hand to do some drinking. Okay, yep, I am dying right now. No, please. There's a gas station right here. I might be able to find a drink here. If I can't find a drink here, it's end game. There is a ladder. That's pretty helpful. Why can't there be a drink? No. A butter knife. What the heck? Who put that there? Oh, man. I don't want to die. Oh, it's a food store. Why didn't I come here in the first place? Oh, there's a drink. There's a drink. It might be moldy milk, but it's something. Oh, man. Saved. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I am turning down my brightness right now. No. Oh, oh my goodness. My screen is darker now. No, I don't have enough energy. Oh, my goodness. That was a clutch. Clutch play. All right, there we go. It's brighter now. I don't know what the brightness is. This is probably messing with your eyes. I apologize if you're an epileptic. I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh, boy. Oh, man. That was a clutch. Oh, man. That was something special. All right. I'm going to drive out a real, a little bit right now. Now, that did uh, actually make my toxicity go up because I drank moldy milk. And moldy milk, as you might imagine, is not exactly one of the healthier of the life choices. So, I think right now we can always come back for the moldy drinks. You know, moldy drinks will always be there. As a matter of fact, the mold will be thicker when we come back. Hold on, let me, let me just run this guy over right quick. Ugh. <laughs> oh, man. Didn't even see it coming. It is so black and white right now. This is filthily black and white. I don't know why I didn't just run to the food store originally. I think I remember seeing moldy stuff there originally. But the only way to make moldy stuff clean again, at least in the case of bottled water, is to have purification tablets, which make water or the other drink, whatever it may be, clean again and safe to drink and bottles of water do restore a bunch of your hydration so it's a really good idea to have those actually i am just not going to put up with any hassles right now i just have to run over zombies right now can't deal with any interruptions while i'm trying to heal up or else that might mean death for me because the barricades outside the sandbags as well as the water barricade can be broken by zombies after a few hits or so, so bad idea to leave myself vulnerable like that. But I do believe I have a blood bag in here. Blood bag, if I am not mistaken, does all your health right back. I'm really hoping it does. Oh yeah, look at that health go up. The color is coming back. <gasps> Breathe in life. Oh man, that saturation of color. Oh man, that's wonderful. This is looking good. I'm feeling good all of a sudden. I can breathe. I did see a ladder back there. I really wish I would have gotten it because that would have been helpful right here. Let's see. I don't think I've actually looted my own barn yet. Is there anything special in here? There might be something special for me. Perhaps. If the barn really wants me to succeed, it will leave something for me. Oh, shotgun shells. Those might come in handy later. Now let me see real quick because I know if you put logs in here, that makes boards. But I don't know if combining with a handsaw does anything. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I'm just learning all the nuances here and there, all the special crafting recipes, and before you know it, we'll be making ourselves a nice little base. Now, in the meantime, I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do. Hang on, I know I have skill enough now to get more of this. I guess we'll just head back into town, do our thing. Now, I'm not sure. Um, 
I think in my experience of uploading as a whole, those of you who watch, the a lot of you that is, um, I don't know if you enjoy cutting episodes more. You know, me cutting, saying, hey, I'm going to drive into town and I doubt you want to see that. Hopefully I'm right. But um, I don't know if you like that kind of crafting stuff or <laughs> crafting style, editing style or not. If you do or don't, please let me know because it's very important. Now, if I'm not mistaken, if we go up to these rocks with a pickaxe and hit them, Yes, they are. We can get ourselves some rocks for a fire. This was actually what I wanted to do next. So after I break down these rock right here, all right, breaks down a little, and we've got some rocks. Now, I'm not sure there's other types of rocks. There's rocks and there's stone. Not sure which one is better in this case. Okay, so I think if we combine these with logs or sticks, we can make ourselves a campfire. Now, that would be, I would imagine, how a friend of mine who I was playing with a while ago we were playing this game and we made a campfire. I don't remember if that was the exact recipe because he was doing most of the crafting as I was just running around grabbing supplies and stuff. I was kind of the milkmaid and I was just going and grabbing supplies while he was, you know, staying at home being the big macho man crafting crap. So it might be Law and Rocks. It might not be. I could be horribly wrong. I mean, that's, that's a thing. That could be very possible. Now let's see what this makes. This makes stones. Okay. Before I waste more of your time, I'm going to look this up very quickly, and I'll be right back. All right, so I looked up what we need to do, and once again, it was another quantity error. So we need four sticks and four stones in order to complete this recipe. I'm not sure if rocks are used for any recipe, because they're specifically stones, which as we saw in the earlier crafting, all you have to do for those is to put in the crafting menu, and the stone or the rocks become stones. I guess stones are some sort of hierarchical level above whatever rocks may be. I don't know, might be some petty strife that I'm overlooking because I am just a guy, not a rock. Would not know. I think I've just got one stick for that. Why? There has to be more. Why can't there be more? I have to take down all these trees. I hope they actually come back. I don't know if they do. I'd imagine they come back after server restarts. I noticed upon hopping in and hopping out that all the loot respawns when I hop out and come back in. So, um, if you're wanting to play and you want to get a lot of resources really quickly, kaboom, that's for you. Anyways, I did not do that, by the way. I don't want to cheat my way through this quite yet until things become really tedious and it just becomes more, you know, fun for everyone to where I can just build stuff really easily and I don't have to, you know, run back to the tree every once in a while. Who knows? But for now, let's do this. All right, campfire, nice. So with campfires, we are able to cook up our food. Now this also comes in handy for doing scrap metal later and bolts and stuff like that. But for now, we are just going to play it nice and cool. I'm not sure exactly where I wanna put this right now. Can I put it on this? Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Looks like it's coming out of a barrel. That looks very apocalyptic. Oh, all right, um, maybe I should put it in here. The animation is really cool with this. Just wait. The pixely fire is a lot better than I expected it would be. Might as well put this inside. <laughs> as bad as that sounds. Maybe I should just put it on my bed. <laughs> We're doing it. We are doing it. Now look at that. That is pretty cool. Now, let me see if it comes through the roof. So if I have an occasional survivor comes by. Yeah, look. It looks like a nice little chimney smoke. Oh, that's wonderful. All right. So if I grab my bacon, if I have the bacon... Do I have bacon? Oh, what happened to the bacon? No! I lost the bacon. Oh, man. I thought I still had bacon. Oh, this is a sad day. Oh, man. I thought I was going to have bacon. Oh, well. Well, I think we accomplished a lot today. We actually built a fire, and we managed to find out exactly what in the heck is going on with blood bags, and that they save lives. So, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Unturned. Next time... Like I said in the previous time, I think we're gonna actually get going with base building, which is probably going to be a lie because there's a lot more stuff that can and will be done. I'll probably also have some friends join me. Let me just harvest these crops real quick. One thing before I leave, I don't know if this is a legitimate thing, but I believe seeing this in a video that I was watching earlier, a tutorial video, because I watch a lot of tutorial videos, if you put this in here, you get two seeds. So you can improve the way you do farms. You can increase your image, if that's a word. You can increase the way you do your crop yields. If you grow the crop first, 
and then you hold on to it. So if you don't eat it immediately and you do some handy dandy crafting with it, you are able to make seeds out of what you make real quick. So yeah, farming 101, look at this. Okay, so I believe this works the same way with potatoes. So we're going to pass on our first meal right here. I always want to click equip. I don't know why. Just one of those little nuances I am yet to get a hold of. Let's put these right here. Now, it is also worth noting that zombies are very capable and prone, might I add, to breaking crops. So if they are to walk over them at any time, I don't think they even have to attack them. If they just walk over the crops, we are going to be in some serious trouble. All right, so we've got our crops here. It is possible to build fences and barricades and stuff around these, but for now, I'm just going to leave them to grow. Now, for real, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Unturned, and I'll see you all next time.